everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day it is Monday morning it's about 10 30 and I'm actually gonna make some breakfast uh, we are gonna have breakfast today uh, we haven't had a breakfast in over a week so um, so what I did uh, if you recall I talked about that day I uh, cleaned out the freezer here in the house and I found a tube of breakfast sausage and so what I did this morning was divide it all up and make little sausage patties so we're obviously not going to eat all these right now, um, but I'm going to make some and then freeze the rest. I'll split them up into groups of four. I figured two sausages each. They're not that big. And we do like this breakfast sausage. Uh, we got this from the pantry. So this is going to be a food pantry breakfast. We're using eggs from the pantry and some sausage and that's going to be it. So yeah, it's just going to be an easy quick breakfast. Something to hold us over. And uh, yeah, so this is... Eat what you have, day number eight. We are continuing on as we have more food in the freezer to eat. All right, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and start these sausages. Yeah, we don't like them too thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make Glenn's first, the sausage and the eggs, um, because if I make it all, then my sausage gets cold. So uh, I know some have asked why I do that, make his first and then come back and make mine. It's because I have to take it out to the trailer and get all this stuff ready. And by the time I come back, my food will all be cold. So, And then I like to just make mine in, you know, just relax, make mine, no hurry. So that's why I do it the way I do. I probably could make them three. They're kind of small. Yeah, we are actually not much for breakfast sausage. We don't like a lot of sausage. Uh, this is a, it comes in a tube, like a ground beef tube, but, uh, I forget what it's called, but I can't find it locally, and when you make it into patty, it actually has a good flavor, so it's not too strong on, on the season side, and, uh, so we actually do like this. Probably the closest you get to, like, a McDonald's breakfast sausage. And we do like McDonald's breakfast sausage. But we haven't had any lately because we're doing the eat what you have thing. And we're not buying fast food or anything like that. So we're not even going out to resupply our food. Um, but I probably will have to uh, Thursday. Uh, as I still have a bunch of chicken to eat. Uh, Glenn's uh, beef and pork. Will, is dwindling down so I'll have to go restock on that and some like potatoes now I made the last of our potatoes last week and I haven't gone to replenish them so that tells you we haven't had any potatoes in our meal and I suppose if worse comes to worse um, if we needed mashed potatoes I could use the Idahoan um, instant so so yeah, that's what you know we're doing on this. Eat what you have. So I I have a couple meals planned um, tonight. I think I already let you know that, but uh, we have this one skinny steak in the freezer. I just took it out. I love the browning on that. Oh yeah. All right, so since I'm making Glenn's, all of Glenn's first right away, I'm going to go ahead and just fry the eggs while the sausage is in here.
All right, so Gwen is just going to have a flat egg. Uh, he doesn't want the yolk because uh, <laughs> we don't have any bread for a toast. If he had toast, then he would want the yolk. So I'm just going to flatten them out, fry them like that. I'm going to go ahead and take his sausage out. But that's all we're having for breakfast. We're still eating what we have. A food pantry meal. And breakfast is done. Okay, everyone, so this is my first tortilla, and don't laugh at my shape. <laughs> um, so I am actually cooking these in the electric skillet uh, because our stove, the two big burners don't work, and I'm trying to make bigger tortillas, but um, we're going to do a taste test to see how these came out. And they're pretty thin which is what I want. And they're cooked. And they taste good. So I have success minus the shape of the tortilla. <laughs> so for those of you who are wondering what all this is, this was sent to me in friend mail. This is a silicone pad, and the circle uh, tells you how big your piece is. So it's, it goes up to like 12 inches, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and then they have centimeters over here. So if you want something rolled out to 12 inches, it just gives you a guideline. Now the thickness or thinness you want it, this rolling pin comes with these uh, guides to the thinness. I don't want them thick, so I put the thinnest one on there. That's the orange piece, and that's uh, an eighth of an inch thick. So I'll show you the rest. They come with all of these. Okay, so mine's, mine's thinner than an eighth of an inch, so this must be a sixteenth of an inch. There's an eighth inch, quarter inch, three eighths inch, and they have these for both sides of the rolling pin. So there's four that come on there with these orange ones. And 
you take the rest off you put the thin or thickness one that you want on there and that's how it's gonna roll it out that's gonna give you a consistent uh, thickness to it rather than uh, one side being thick and the other side being thin so this was gifted to me in friend friend mail some time ago so that's what this is the silicone mat gives a bunch of measurements uh, gives you a you can't see here in the corner where my finger is gives you a temperature um, from Fahrenheit to Celsius it gives you a measurement down here um, yeah so this is very handy to have and you could see by the thinness of my tortilla it did its job and it's the same thinness all over the tortilla so that's what this is again this was gifted to me and I really appreciate having it so um, now keep in mind this is actually my only only my second time making tortillas the first time was a complete failure um, I did it a different way but this time I would say I have success so they taste good and that's the reason I use butter versus uh, oil or lard the butter gives it a kind of a sweeter taste almost and uh, so yeah so the only thing I have to master <laughs> is uh, shaping it into a circle so alright so I'm gonna continue on and again I'm doing it in the electric skillet and yeah so I'm gonna make these tortillas and this goes back to the challenge I'm in use what you have at home so I don't have any burrito sized tortillas so I'm using my ingredients to make some all right uh, they may not be huge burrito size I don't want them huge um, a little maybe a little bigger than what I have but nonetheless I made flour tortillas all right everyone so this is my last tortilla and as you can see I got it a little bigger and there's they're starting to get a little more round I kind of find a figured out my system here but this is the last one I warmed up and you can see it's a lot better shape than my first one so I actually um, I'm gonna put this in the skillet to cook alright so the skillet temperature I have is 400 I believe it's 400 yeah I have the skillet at about 400 and the tortillas are bubbling up right away so I know the heat is good um, so this actually one two three four it only made five good sized ones and I actually just cut the recipe in half because I didn't know how this was going to go so I didn't want to if it went bad I didn't want to waste a bunch of flour and stuff so I only made half of the recipe um, but I think I'm liking this recipe and I'm getting the hang of getting it in a better circle like with this one um, you could see yeah a lot better shape than my first one uh, so I'll give Glenn the, the good circled one <laughs> um, but yeah homemade flour tortillas and next time I make them I'll make a, a bigger uh, batch of them so and once I really get the hang of it um, I shouldn't have to buy any more flour tortillas I know like when I was growing up my dad my mom and my dad made homemade tortillas all the time but every now and then they bought some so so I can't say I'll never buy any again but honestly these taste way better <laughs> so all right um, and that's about it it's going pretty smooth in the skillet it doesn't stick or anything it slides around as soon as you put it in there so there just so you can see so yeah they cook very nicely in there all right so that's uh I'm gonna go ahead and stop this for now and start getting the steak ready for the burritos
All right, everyone. I didn't record me making this steak and onions. Um, I was recording, and I thought I was recording, but the recorder wasn't on. So I basically sliced up a steak and some onions and put in our last can of El Pato sauce. So this is Glenn's. I'll be eating chicken. Um, so yeah. All right, so I already took um, lettuce and tomato in a bowl. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of guacamole. I'm using those uh, avocados from the food pantry last week. We've got the last of our rice, Mexican rice here. See if we can't finish that up today. And I did open up some new refried beans. All right, there it is. I'll be back with mine. All right, everyone. So I'm here making my chicken burrito. I left the steak for Glenn, and I'm doing chicken. All right, so I guess we'll uh, see how these tortillas go with the burrito, how they taste. I'm not sure if Glenn's going to like them. He's not a big flour tortilla fan to begin with. And then uh, <laughs> you add homemade to it. <laughs> he could pleasantly surprise me, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, so... This is uh, part of that chicken I made for the enchiladas, the one bag that I froze. I've got some lime still in the refrigerator. And so I'm using that chicken. I'm just going to throw in whatever guacamole is here. I'm using uh, guacamole from the food pantry last week. And I gave Glenn the last of his, the homemade salsa, the one I made for the enchiladas. So he's eaten that off of that for three times now. And that'll do away with that. Oop. may have overloaded that <laughs> but there's my nice chicken burrito and then we're going to put some rice in here and we should be able to finish this off tonight too and that will be the third serving off of one cup of uh, Mexican rice I used one cup of white rice to make that Mexican rice and we're eating off of it for the third time All right, so there is our supper and day number eight on eat what you have. So uh, I'm having a chicken burrito and Glenn is having a beef burrito. We're using up the, the last of the rice. We got some refried beans. And uh, yeah, so that's day number eight. And we've got some burritos with homemade flour tortillas. <laughs> 